Yeah. Uh, let's just get right into it. Yep. What was your reaction to what happened this weekend? Well, we're going to get into the Serena of it all, but my top reaction mm -hmm. is Carlos Ramos, the, 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 the chair up, took away a great moment from Naomi Osaka. That's really what was going on. Now, her victory was not assured, which is why it was such a bad time to insert himself the way he did. But I thought it looked like she was going to win, yeah. beat the greatest player who ever lived in a major championship, in a Grand Slam championship. I mean, that, that's a big deal, and she is completely overshadowed today. No one is talking about her because everyone's talking about Serena and the ump. Now, look. Serena said sexism right away. She went to that place fast and, and said, you know, you wouldn't do this to a man. And my first reaction was, boy, she went to that quickly. But the more I thought about it, the more I thought she's probably right. First of all, the rule that you look over, like you can't look over, you can't get coached, is an absurd rule because everyone always looks over. And, you know, you can claim it's, you have the cover of I'm looking for inspiration, but then the coaches are always coaching. Serena's coach admitted it afterwards. So that's always happening. Stephen A., when I was a kid, Willie Randolph never touched second base on a double play. To this day, I'm waiting for him to touch second base on a double play. The ump always gave it to him. So if it's a World Series game, the ump can't then say, oh, you didn't touch second base. It's not an out, right? Like, th this is common practice. So it's common practice in tennis. Why would you choose that moment to give her the warning at that pivotal time? Now, she throws her racket. You got to do what you got to do. You can't do that. That's a clear violation. Nothing against anyone. Even you're just not allowed to do it. Even though tons of male players do it if all you, the time. Okay, if you throw – I'm, I'm not upset. You yeah. throw the racket, you're going to – but now you know that there's a game on the line at that point, right? The third infraction. And what she was saying to him, thief and stuff, I grew up in the Jimmy Connors, John McEnroe era. They were saying a lot worse. Now, you can say, well, they're more sensitive to it now because of that. A a and I get that. But they were saying so much worse. And to take it there at that moment, no one is there to see a ref ref or an ump ump. They're there to watch the players. And it's Osaka who's actually victimized by this. No one is talking about her because there was an official who inserted themselves. They did not need to take the game at that point because she said thief. They could just look the other way. One thing I want to say quickly, I have also heard people say, don't describe it as a meltdown for Serena, right? Because that's sexist. We wouldn't describe him. I don't believe that's true. I remember constantly referring to McEnroe and Connors and reading and hearing in the press them saying they're babies, they're toddlers, they're having meltdowns. She did appear to have one of those. Tennis players appear, like, spoiled at times, and, they, and they, the way they talk. She did appear to be in that moment. But she had good reason. You don't, you don't throw Mike Trout out of a World Series game for arguing it, but, boy, you, you maybe look the other way. You don't throw LeBron James out of, a, out of a championship game seven. Maybe you look the other way unless it's really over the top. Serena was not so over the top that she needed to get that game taken from her then, and it's Osaka who's victimized. <clears throat> Serena Williams is the GOAT. I'm on the record saying last week that if she were not a woman, if she were a man, she'd be recognized as, a gro as the GOAT. And as a black man, I'm incredibly proud of her accomplishments and how her and her sisters have conducted themselves and the level of adversity that they've had to deal with in the world of tennis and beyond. Uh, they are role models extraordinaires. But as we talk about this specific incident in question, Serena Williams was wrong. Somebody has to say it, so I will. The reality is, is that this referee... When Serena Williams brought the issue of gender and sexism into the argument, that's when she lost. 2017 French Open, uh, Djokovic given a uh, fault on his serve for time violation, given a cold violation as well for conduct after yelling. Same French Open, 2017 time violation uh, given to Rafael Nadal. He thought it was selectively enforced, and he complained about this same official, Carlos Ramos. 2018, this year, in Wim at Wimbledon, Djokovic, again, receives a code violation. Why? For slamming his racket into the ground. The point is, is that Carlos Ramos, no matter what we want to say, do I believe he was excessive? Yes. Do I think that he could have been a bit more measured emotionally himself? Absolutely. He's not... Uh, devoid of culpability here, but let's be very, very clear. Not only does all the tennis aficionados acknowledge that he operated within the rules 
So much so that not only would his bosses refuse to overturn his decision, they upheld it and fined Serena Williams because their, her conduct is something that they brought into question. But also, this man has a history mm -hmm. of doing the same thing to but men. They, but were they cost a game? Did they that's lose the a point. whole wait, game? Wait, 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 a that, point is that, one that, thing. I played point. tennis. A right. game, that's mm -hmm. a that's whole That's the point, Stephen A. I'm with you. The, first, of all, first of all, the, the coaching thing I don't love. But then the code violation, I'm not going to argue yeah. with that. Let's, let's, they took let's the game. Let's let Stephen A. finish I am not though. getting into the particulars in terms of a game as opposed to a point. I'm yeah. saying there's a bigger issue here. The bigger issue here was the conduct of the two. Yep. He has the luxury yep. of saying he operated within the confines of his rules and regulations. When you go to a match, it's not just about preparing for the opponent. It's preparing for the officiating. And the reality is, is that she knew coming into it because he also gave Venus Williams problems mm -hmm. in the past. You know that he's hardcore. Her argument was lost the second she made it about gender. Has she made it about her? then there would have been a stronger argument. But she said, I'm standing up for women's rights, et cetera, et cetera. Excuse me, when did he violate your rights that he didn't do towards men? If you have men that can point to him being a problem, the same exact problem for them as he was for you, then it's not about Stephen gender. A. It's about him. Can and I jump that's in here, where guys? she lost.